Hello and welcome. This is Jit Dolaki and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. Europe braces for more snowfall, Canada to be colder than Antarctica, severe tropical storm Raymond gains more strength. Heavy snowfall and thick cloud will move across Europe this week as temperatures drop below freezing. Snowfall is expected across Europe this week as temperature drop below freezing. There will be also thick cloud moving across the continent from the west. It comes as severe weather. EU has claimed the polar vortex is set to collapse by the end of the year, which creates acute winter conditions and can lead to extreme weather. This is an area of low pressure that is going to come into play over the next couple of days in Western Europe. But it is in this area of cloud that is the real concern at the moment, bringing yet more unsettled weather. Across the Alps, there will be some fresh snowfall again there. To the north and west, it stays cooler and a little bit quiet for the time being. There is that rain into Italy and further snow across the Alps. French residents were stranded in 50 cm snow. Three lakh households have been deprived of electricity in France as the weather rocks the country. France has been facing gale force winds, excess of 100 mm of rain and significant snowfall. The country is still recovering from the heavy rain that battered the nation over the previous two weeks. Last week, Italy declared a state of emergency after fierce flood tore across its city of canals, Venice. Two people have died as a result of the city being hit by a flood reaching the highest water level seen for more than 50 years. Officials have warned that another surge is expected and could in fact worsen the flooding across the region. Meanwhile, Alberta is going to be even colder than Antarctica and the North Pole this weekend as temperature drop to minus 30 degrees Celsius with wind chill values. Earlier today, Environment Canada issued several winter storm and snowfall warnings for various parts of the province. This is hardly one of the first time this has happened recently. In September, Alberta was bombarded with snow. According to the weather network, the coldest place on earth will be Alberta this coming weekend. Given the weather over the past couple of weeks, it's not exactly impossible to believe, but it's still pretty shocking. Over the next several days, the province will experience one of the most extreme temperature anomalies on the planet. Arctic air is forecast to barrel down from the North Pole and will settle east of the Rocky Mountains. It is not just temperatures that will be cooling things down through. Powerful winds and up to 40 cm of snow are part of Environment Canada's weather warning for the weekend. Only hours away from landfall, severe tropical storm Raman intensified again on Monday evening at November 18. In a bulletin issued 8 p.m. on Monday, the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Service Administration said Raman now has maximum winds of 110 km per hour from the previous 100 km per hour and gusting of up to 135 km per hour from the previous 125 km per hour. The severe tropical storm is already 150 km east northeast of Apari, Cagayan. It is moving northwest at the same slow pace of 10 km per hour. Raman is expected to make landfall in the northern part of Cagayan between Monday evening and Tuesday morning. 19 November, at least two areas have suspended classes for Tuesday. Travel also remains risky, especially for small vessels in the seaboard of areas under signal number 1 and 2, the western seaboard of northern Luzon and the eastern seaboard of central Luzon and southern Luzon. Raymond could leave the Philippine area of responsibility on Thursday morning, November 21. By then, it would likely already be downgraded to a low-pressure area. Raymond is the Philippines' 18th tropical cyclone for 2019 and the second for November. Meanwhile, the LP outside par is now 1,285 km east of western Visayas. It is expected to enter within 24 hours and may develop into a tropical depression within 48 hours. If it becomes a tropical depression and enters par, it would be given the local name Sara. The country gets an average of 20 tropical cyclones annually, but since 2019 is an El Nino year, only 14 to 18 tropical cyclones are expected. Light to moderate with intermittent to heavy rains, meanwhile, are expected over the rest of the Ilocos Norte and Isabela as well as Kalinga and Abra. The Bureau says the cyclone which is moving northwestward is likely to intensify before it makes a pass over land.
That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. Jit Dolakya. For more weather updates like this, please subscribe to our channel.